Well, 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 welcome back to a new video on the channel. And with all the Panini Plus and all the Match Attack Extra, we're still here opening Match Attack products for the regular collection for this year, of course. But nonetheless, we're behind, aren't we? But we have still got a couple of Megatons that we need to complete our collection to get these um, exclusive limited editions. I've been so slow on it. I've literally only had the Commander's um megatin so i've got my hands on this one and i believe the wonder kids megatin um i'm just looking to order the um the finishers megatin so still good fun to open still uh possibilities of uh is it relics in here uh now with incredible relic cards in light side lucky tins so i've got a couple chance of those obviously the chance of uh you know number of parallels chrome shields ultra rare all that good stuff um and just your chrome previews and there's so many exciting things that you can get from these but nonetheless it is these four playmaker exclusive limited edition cards for uh the real reason we have bought this tin and of course we are still needing a couple of cards for the collection um especially some of the rarer cards like the black edge um and a few others so without further ado let's get into this is there going to be some sort of relic card hiding here no there isn't but as i say not the reason we bought the tin just would have been an absolutely fantastic bonus i can't lie so we will do the uh playmakers bit at the end as i say for the tin really really nice smart design let's get it out the right way though uh just because don't want to annoy anyone uh there you go so without further ado let's get into the packs as i say even a chrome shield or chrome preview would be really nice today um but you know just uh just to uh, be opening these packs again is quite fun. So I haven't opened any standard mash attack products for quite some time now. So anyway, we start off with Mohamed El Nenny. I completely forgot about the fact that he do sort of the parallels and stuff quite early doors. Um, anyway, then we got Navi Keita. We then have a West Ham United FC limited edition, I believe, which is... Oh, no, it's just a base card. I thought it was a limited edition for some reason. I really don't know what I'm on about. There you go. A Ben Rama though. Uh, Crystal Parallels, which they like to do early doors in, in tops, uh, which is fine by me. I'm not going to complain too much. Just open it in the order it comes. Unfortunately, not the greatest condition there. But there you go. That is a Nathan Ake Crystal Parallel card. We then have Schulz of uh, Borussia Dortmund. Sergio Roberto there, uh, Alex Moreno, and then this has got to be the limited edition. Come on, you can't you can't double wind me up. This has got to be the limited edition. Oh, it's not. It's it's a heritage card. God, I'm so I'm so rusty. I really am. Uh, there you go, Adam Militao, uh, heritage card there. I will be honest. I much prefer the heritage cards for the new Mash Attack Extra collection. I think they are absolutely wicked. The old blue man of the match, old blue book man of the matches. I think they're wicked. Anyway, we have Disassi. Um, we then have Smallin. We then have Moussa Diabe. And then we have Bernardo Silva 100 Club. We do have all the 100 Clubs. So uh, it wouldn't have made a difference either way who it was. Preferably Benzema is nicer. But there you go. 100 Club, Bernardo Silva. Really, really nice there. Moving on, we have the Madrid logo. Followed by Marcos Llorente, Rafael Guerrero, the Bayern Munich badge. And a Herrera, uh, Alexander Isaac, Isaac, uh, Fred, uh, Rodrigo Benson Kerr, and Barisic there. We're then on to our Mirror 4 inserts, which we don't need any of, but we'll still flip through them anyway, of course. We have uh, Gimenez there, uh, Verate, uh, Modric Styler, Socek Enforcer, uh, Kulusevski, um, and match winner um, Griezmann there. We then have, is that a base card randomly at the back? It is, a couple of just random base cards at the back. Uh, Mario, Gaspar and Rafa Silva. I think this is my most common base card by Amaro, if I'm honest, but there you go. We then have a couple more inserts where we have Next Gen Raul Moro and we have Ashraf Hakimi, uh, Cygnus to Style Man of the Match cards. So we'll put those uh, as a pair almost. So there you go. Not a bad start. Hopefully we can perhaps get something a bit more exciting than this. Uh, second pack but without further ado let's get into it so how do we start with this i suppose this way round so we start off with a gundawan there of city marshall of united home and song of tottenham Chalanoglu inter uh, porto a logo carlos vinicius we then have the hugo loris spurs captain crystal parallel card 
Another one that's got sort of a bit of damage just in that corner of the Crystal Parallels, which is a bit of a shame. But another really nice one, two Premier League Crystal Parallel cards. Uh, top stuff there. Moving on, we have Ben Johnson for West Ham. Ben Zemmer there. Uh, and is this going to be, I believe, if I had to take a guess, is this going to be like the Schick uh, Heritage card? It is. Look at that. Know my stuff. Maybe I'm not as rusty as I thought. But two Heritage cards there. I believe they are both spares, but nonetheless... Um, you know, as I say, I'm pretty far in the collection. So, anyway, uh, Barrow, we have Weigel. We then have Gavi there. Uh, RP Leipzig badge. Arthur, Arthur Masawaku, uh, Dromel, Inter badge. We then have Matthias Ribe, Fabio Vieira, Diego Yotta, and Kevin De Bruyne. After that, we have our... Uh, uh Mirror Falls, where we have Harry Kane there for Tottenham. We then have Edison Stopper, Varan Warrior, uh, Becker, Alison Becker. Um, what am I about? Stopper, uh, Joshua Kimmich, a Warrior, and Frank Kessie Enforcer. Uh, we then have our two free randomly placed. It's just they're just nuts, aren't they? It's putting everything anywhere. Uh, Sporting Club badge. Luis Alberto and Cali... Calabria. I know exactly who it is. I'm just rubbish at pronunciation sometimes. We then have a legend, Brian Laudrup, which is really nice. Followed by a next-gen Nico Gonzalez there for Barcelona. So there you go. Nice mixture of cards there. Unfortunately, nothing crazy, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But it doesn't matter because we have... This pack to open the four limited edition cards that we need to help complete our collection. So, uh, four exclusive limited edition cards had to get them uh, because, as I say, I want that full nice set at the back of the book. So, starting off with a De Bruyne Playmaker limited edition, absolutely awesome design on them, really clear pitch with the white sort of silhouette, um, really, really nice. So, Ellie Playmaker. Uh, one followed by a Luka Modric so we'll leave these all out uh, Playmaker 2 what an outstanding player then we have a Zhao Felix Playmaker there 91 attack on him so that is really good 96 on De Bruyne and 92 on so some fantastic stats being shown with these uh, Playmaker limited editions code card for anyone who wants it because this still doesn't expire till 2023 July so that's pretty cool and our last but not least is Nkunku for uh, RB Leipzig with a 92 attack there again. So there you go. Plenty of awesome cards nonetheless. I can't really complain too much. But as I say, um, this these four cards here are the main reason I bought it. With the hope of maybe getting something a bit more exciting. But nonetheless, you can't always, uh, can't always have it all, can you? So if you do enjoy, like, subscribe, do that good stuff. And until the next one, I'll see you all around. Thanks for watching.